Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to look at the process of importing a USDZ file into SketchUp. So a USDZ file is a file format that's used a lot of times for like scan data, that kind of stuff. It includes in the file, it includes geometry and material information. Um, this works really well in, in, in hooks into the newer materials in SketchUp. We're talking like SketchUp 2025 and forward because it can import the materials along with their materiality and allow you to basically import like what looks like a real thing right into SketchUp. So let's take a look at how that works right now. All right, so I'm starting with my buddy TomTom Tom here. And I created a little pillar here. I mostly created this pillar because I wanted to show, you know, the interaction with the environmental lighting because that's going to affect our USDZ file when we import it. So um, this is just a rectangle with the goldish material applied to it. So you can see as I move it around how it hits, the light hits it. That's going to be important once we get uh, a USDZ file imported. So importing works by going to file and clicking import. Who knew? Um, so right here, I have this USDZ file. So this is just a vase. It's expensive and fancy looking, so it is a vase and not a vase. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab it and import it. We're just going to go for it. Um, and there we go. Thank you very much. Good night. No, let's take a look at what this is and what it did. So obviously, I don't know what scale this was put in at, but I don't think this is how big the actual thing is. So I'm going to do a couple things. I'm going to scale it. I'm going to get it more to uh, appropriate size. And then I'm going to move it so it's sitting on our pillar right here. I'm going to use actually use, use some uh, snap points. I'm going to hit the modifier key and get this in the, line to the middle here. There we go. So now it's centered on that, that little pillar I got there. All right. So one thing you see is it did bring that that uh, geometry in. Along with that geometry, we have what looks like a, a UV mapped material wrapping around this inside and out. Pretty cool, pretty cool, looks good. Uh, it's not interacting with the lighting as I was expecting though. See, see how this, this gold's getting the light from the side and, and this is not really changing as I look. It's good looking material, but it's not changing as as it receives that light at all. So let's take a look at why that might be. So I'm gonna hit the paint bucket tool to bring up the colors window. And in the colors window, whether you're on Mac or you are on uh, Windows, the, the UI is different, but what you should see when you import something is you'll have this new material at the end. You can see right here, like I said, it's UV mapped. So it's laid out here as it applies to the geometry. I'm gonna double click into that. And we get that up there. This is kind of nice. We did a, a video just recently where we talked about uh, how materials that are imported automatically receive values like metalness or roughness or that sort of thing. Um, imported like this material coming in doesn't automatically assume those automatic values for metalness or roughness. So I do have to come in here and turn them on. So I'm gonna click on these two and you see immediately look what happened there. <clears throat> this is a lot of metalness and a lot of roughness. Having 1.0 of both is a lot. So we're gonna back this down a little bit. We're gonna start with the roughness. So we can see here, uh, when I turn those on, they just went to 100% or 1.0. Uh, so I'm gonna back some of these down. The roughness, this is a pretty smooth item. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my roughness way down. Um, when I go all the way down, let's just let's just play. If I go all the way down with my roughness, that means metallic, the metalness, has full rain. So this is like basically a mirror. 100% metalness with zero roughness means it shines like a mirror. And you can see that. You can see my environment reflected in the side all the way around. This is a super cool look. And if this was, I this makes me think of like, uh, Christmas ornaments on the side of a tree, right? So having that, that red ball that reflects everything around it. This is 100% metalness. That's not 
exactly the look I was going for. I wanted it to be shiny, I wanted it to be reflective, but I didn't necessarily want it to be a metal mirror. It looks like it's supposed to be an older vase, so uh, we should probably back that down a little bit. So as I bring this down a little, I'm gonna see the perfect reflectivity disappear a little bit, and I still wanna see that light bouncing on it, but I don't necessarily want it to be a perfect mirror. So this works pretty good, about 50%. If, I, if, if roughness is at zero, then I'm always gonna get that reflection. You know, so as I come up like this a little bit, I'm still gonna see that like, like it's a mirror. So even if I go to only 50%, I'm still seeing that. This is where roughness plays a little bit of a part. So as I bring roughness in, it's gonna kind of blur that, see that? So I can get to a point where it still looks like it's, probably bring it down even a little more. Um, so if I get the right combinations of material, I should be able to, on this round surface, see that it is it is finished it is somewhat polished so i get a little bit of reflectivity but i don't it's not a mirror anymore so it's it's it looks like it's a glazed glass or something like that and i can see that material on there so again it's not going to import perfectly it's not going to come in and just be, bam everything's done but you can see because it has that material that's mapped to the geometry uh, all I have to do is play with my sliders a little bit and I get a pretty good looking uh, material there kind of for free just just on import so yeah USDZ files are great ways to get that additional geom geometry and additional materials into SketchUp and and create some great looking stuff so it's possible you don't normally use USDZ files or maybe you have workflows that have nothing to do with that because you just model things that's cool, awesome. Uh, hopefully you picked up something from the metalness and roughness sliders. Anyhow, we kind of dove deep on those. Uh, if you do import files and you historically been pulling in like OBJs or DXF files, something like that, take a look at USDZ files if you can find them and, and give them a shot. I was pretty much blown away by how amazing this thing looked when I imported it. I did go look for something that was rounded over and and, and you know, that kind of thing. I wanted to see that 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 the, a way that I could complement the type of modeling that SketchUp's really good at with the stuff that's it's harder to to get that material wrapping around around surface, but importing it works perfectly. So yeah, check out USDZ files. It's a pretty amazing way to get complex geometry that is UV mapped into SketchUp, and uh, you know then play with the materiality. Check that out. If you like that video, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, leave us a comment down below. Are there different file types that you would like to talk about importing? Or is there questions you have about USDZ files or material importing that we haven't answered yet? Or do you just have another idea that you think would make a good video? We wanna hear all of it. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you wanna see. Thank you.